Hi everybody, it's Jackie, aka the Evil Queen 98, or also known as Looming by Jackie on Instagram. And today I am here to do a tutorial, my first tutorial in so many years, of the Brave Hurt bracelet. This was designed on Instagram by Craze Mama, who I will leave down below, and I'll also bring up her profile here in just a second. But this is what the bracelet looks like. It is super, super pretty. It's pretty easy to make once you get the hang of the steps. And it's basically a few fishtails with some bands in between. So pretty simple to make once you get the hang of it. It's a really cool design and I've never done a monster tail bracelet tutorial before so this is going to be a first. It's Crazy Mama's Instagram profile. Uh, I will again leave her linked down below but I've been friends with her for a number of years. I'm so honored that she uh, put me to make this bracelet. Here is her original rendition and this is dedicated to the brave Ukrainian people who are fighting a war against Russia. So the super super special and I really love this design. And I can't wait to show you guys how to make it. For this tutorial, you are going to need at least two colors of bands. I would recommend two, but I think you can do more. I'd be curious to see it multicolored. As well as a monster tail. You can also make this on the loom with a similar setup as this, but I would recommend a monster tail. I personally find it easier. And also your hook and some sea clothes. So gather your supplies and we will get started. That's why I've gathered my supplies and we're now ready to get started with the bracelet. So if you have a monster tail like mine, you're going to have it with the red dot facing towards your left and you're going to have your both color bands or however many color bands you're using as well as your hook on the side ready to go because we'll be using them very shortly. So the first step you're going to do is going to be placing your first color band which was my Persian black and my rendition that I just showed you. I'm going to be using navy blue today. You're going to post, uh, put it on these three pegs just in a triangle just like this. And you do the same thing on the other side with your other color, which was my pink in my rendition. And today I'm going to be using teal. And you're going to do the same thing just over these three pegs right here. So it should look something like this. So now the next step is going to be taking these triangle bands and you're going to be twisting them on themselves. So you're going to take, I'm going to start on the left, you're going to take this end of the band you take it off with the peg and you're gonna twist it around itself. So it should look like this. Do the same thing with this bottom teal color. So take it off, twist it into a figure eight, and put it back on. Just like this. Now you're gonna flip your monster tail around, or if you have a loom, your loom around, and you're gonna do the same thing with these two pegs. So take this band, take it off of that peg and twist into a figure eight. Again, it should look something like this. And then do the same thing on the other side with the other color band. Take it off of the peg, turn into a figure eight and turn it around. And it should look something like this. I'm going to do the same thing we just did with these two pegs on the end peg. So where the red dot is on the opposite side of that red dot. So take this end of the blue off, turn it. It could be a little bit tricky with this one, so just be careful. It might be easier to do it with your fingers, so... Excuse the fingers in the way. So just twist it into a figure eight and it will look something like that. And do the same thing on the other side. Take it off, twist into a figure eight, and put it back on. So that is what it should look like at this point. So you're going to be adding the center band. So we're going to take our first color, whatever color is on the left, but closest to the red dot on the monster tail. You're going to start on this peg right here. And we're going to twist it into a figure eight. So this peg right here. And place it just like that. Don't worry if it gets twisted. We can always fix that after we're done with the entire bracelet. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. So from this peg to this peg, you're going to take your next blue band. Stretch it and then turn it into a figure eight and place it down. And then make sure it doesn't come off of the pen like mine just did. 
So it should look something like this. We're going to do the same thing with our teal color. So from this peg in the center to this peg right here, we're going to stretch it, twist into a figure eight, and place it down. Make sure your bands stay in order. And do the same thing on the other side, from this pin to this pin right here. Stretch it, twist into a figure eight, if I can. Stretch it, turn into a figure eight, cooperate band. There we go. And it should look something like this at this point. We're going to be placing a center band as well as a triangle band on these three pegs. So we're going to start, I'm going to start off with the center peg. You don't have to do this in this order. You can do whatever order you want. We're just going to place a band going straight across. I would start off with the whatever color is on the left side. That's the way I do it. You can do it either or. And push that down so there should be three bands on that center section right here just like that and next you're going to do a triangle kind of like how we did at the beginning but we're not going to twist any bands over these three pegs right here just like this so this is what the three pins should look like so these two should have three bands and this one should just have the two and just push those down. And we do the same thing as we just did with that triangle band on the other side with the teal. Take your teal band and place it across those three pegs just like that. That's what it should look like. Now that we have a loom set up just like this, we are ready to start the looping process. And I forgot to mention with the center pan, our center band that we placed right here, you are going to make it into a figure eight. I was thinking ahead of time with the next band piece one step. So this one is going to be going to be figure eight, just like the rest of the X bands right here in the middle. So make sure it looks just like this. So that you have this, you are ready to start the looping process. So we are going to lift the bottom uh, band on each one of these center six pegs. We're going to leave these end two alone. So if there's a three bands on one peg that you're going to be lifting those bottom ones. So pretty straightforward. You're going to take the bottom band and lift it up and lift it up and lift it up. And then you can turn the loom around and do the same thing on the other side. So this one, this one, Hopefully you guys can see this okay on camera. And this one, just like that. And this is what it should look like when you turn the loom around. I stand correct, we are gonna wanna loop the bottom band on these side pegs, my apologies. So you are going to, I already did it on this right side just to make sure. So you are gonna wanna take the bottom band on these two end pegs and lift it up and over. So I did that right one. Do the same thing on the left side. Take the bottom band and lift it up and over so it should look like this now sorry about that guys we are going to kind of start the repeat process from here so we are going to be placing the x bands again so we're going to start off with the left side take this band we're not going to be twisting any bands anymore that was just to kind of set it up so we're going to place a band from here to here and do the same thing on the other side from here to here so it should look like this you can push those down a bit and now we're going to take our hook, which is right here for me, and loop the bottom band on each of those pegs. If I can grab the pipe band. Just on those four pegs. So it should look like this now. We're going to be placing our X bands on the teal colored side. So just do the same thing. So go from the center peg right here out to the right. And from this peg right here to the left towards the middle. So it looks like this. And now we're going to loop the bottom four or bottom band on all four of those pegs. I can't talk apparently. Don't mind me. One, two, 
and flip it around and do the other side. Three and four. So now it should look like this. Replacing the triangle bins on again on these three pegs and these three pegs and the straight across again on these two. So I'm going to use the teal for the center color because I used the uh, navy the last time. Like I said, I'm going to be alternating colors. It may look a little bit confusing, but you can change it up if you want. So I'm just going to place that band and loop the bottom band on those two pegs up. So it should be my navy in this case. So it looks like that. And now I'm going to place my triangle bands. So on these three pegs right here and these three pegs right here and then again it should look like that I think I might have been off camera for that band placement but hopefully you guys understood what I meant and loop the bottom band on all three of those pegs remember this side only has two so just be a little careful when looping it up and over. Once those are all set, you can push the bands down and flip it back over, do the other side. The teal here, here, and here. And then push that down as well. So it should look something like that. That is the repeat process for the rest of the bracelet. I'm going to do it a couple more times on camera with you guys with instructions and I'm going to do it a couple times off or on camera without instructions so you guys can just follow along. Feel free to rewind the video once I do I'll go off camera and finish it up if you need more instructions uh, but let's dive in again. So we're going to place our X bands on the navy side first. So from this peg to this peg this peg to this peg, just like that. And we are going to take our hook and loop the bottom band on those four pegs. And turn it back around and push those bands down. Do the same thing on the other side, so from this peg right here to this peg. And from this peg right here to this peg. Just diagonally across, like I said, no more twisting of the bands, that was just to get us started. Push those down just a tiny bit. And take that bottom band up and over on those four pegs. Make sure it doesn't get caught on the peg like mine just did. There we go. And push those down. So it look like this. And now we can place our center band just straight across. Push that down just a tiny bit. And loop the bottom band on those two pegs. I hope I bring this in camera all right for you guys. Sorry, my it's been a while since I've done a tutorial, so my hands are a little shaky. And then we'll place our triangle bands on these three pegs right here and these three pegs right here. Just like that. And just like this. There we go. Push it down just a tiny bit to make room to bring the bottom band up. And then you can loop, push that down, loop that bottom band up and over. And those three on that side. And these three on this side. Just 
just like that. Just one more time with instructions and I'll do it a couple times without instructions. Let's start off with our X bands again on the blue side, the darker blue side, I should say. Just like that into an X. And you can take those bottom bands up and over. I'm also trying to go slow while giving these instructions, so if I'm going too fast, I'm sorry. Hopefully it's pretty straightforward though. And push those that side down. And we'll place our X bands on the other side. That might be in the way if you guys can't see it. Sorry. And take those bottom bands up and over. That's why I missed one there. No, it's just a thicker band than the rest. And push that down. And we can place our center band. And take that bottom band up and over on both sides. And finally, we'll wrap it up by placing our triangle bands on both ends. those bands up and over. That is the whole sequence. Let me do it one more time on camera for you guys without instructions. Again, if you need more instructions, feel free to write, rewind the video and watch it. I do not mind at all, but I'm going to show you guys one more time without talking. And then I'm going to go off camera and finish it all up. All right. I'm going to try to go slowly. So if you just want to watch from this point without the instructions, that's fine. Oops, that's the wrong color. I hope you guys are all doing really well. I know it's been a while since my last tutorial. Um, it's just been a very crazy few years uh, with the pandemic and everything. So hopefully I can get back into the swing of things with making tutorials for you guys and making content on this channel in general. But we shall see. I've missed you guys quite a bit, so... It's definitely been a long few years with the pandemic, so. But I hope everybody is well. Feel free to let me know in the comments what you guys have been up to the past few years. I'd love to hear. Again, I'm hoping I am going slow enough, not too fast. For you guys it's again i'm a fast talker and i haven't done a tutorial in a while so my apologies if i'm not going slow enough also not used to using a monster tail so that could explain a few things
Also, make sure your bands don't get twisted as you get, um, as you loop everything up. It tends to happen like mine just did, but if you did, if you catch it in time, you should be fine. All right, so that is the sequence for the bracelet, guys. Like I said, if you need more instructions, feel free to rewatch and rewind the video as much as you need to. Um, and I'll be back when I finish the bracelet. I'm going to go off camera and finish, and I'll be back shortly with the finished product to show you guys how to take it off the monster tail. I'll be back. All right, guys, so I am back. I have finished making my bracelet long enough to fit around my wrist, which is about seven inches, give or take. And now it is time to finish up the bracelet and close it all up. So what we're going to do is on these six center pegs, we're going to take this last band on the bottom. So the blue one here, the lighter blue, I should say, and the darker blue on this one and the lighter blue on this one. We're going to loop it up and over. So just take that bottom band and lift it up, lift it up, and lift it up. And then you can turn it around and do the same thing on the other side. Lift it up. Lift it up. And lift it up and over. So it should look like this. One single band on all of the pegs now. And now we are going to take this end of the bands that are on this side right here, these three, and we're going to bring it to the other side. Just like this. Come on. There we go. Let's push those down just a little bit. And then you're also going to take the ones here on the side and bring those over to that top end. Just like this, I'm trying to show you guys at a decent angle. So now these three pens should have three bands each, or these two should have three bands and then the center one should just have two. We're gonna, instead of bringing the bottom one over, we're gonna bring the bottom two up and over on these two pens, just the side ones, and the bottom one on this center pen up and over and then, and you can pull it right through the center of it and once you attach the band to those last two you can attach your c-clip and now we can close it up. And that is our finished bracelet, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already for future tutorials. And I hope you guys enjoyed this breakout. I really love it. I think it's really pretty. I love the colors I used in this rendition. I think it highlights the pattern really well. Let me know in the comments down below what tutorials you'd like to see next. I would love to know. And as always, all my social media links are linked down below for you guys, along with Crazy Mamas. If you'd like to follow us on Instagram, you know, all that means that I have a good task for your day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Attach the band to those last two. You can attach your C-clip, and now we can close it up. That is our finished bracelet, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already for future tutorials. And I hope you guys enjoyed this breakout. I really love it. I think it's really pretty. I love the colors I used in this rendition. I think it highlights the pattern really well. Let me know in the comments down below what tutorials you'd like to see next. I would love to know. And as always, all my social media links are linked down below for you guys, along with Crazy Mamas. If you'd like to follow us on Instagram, you know, all that means that I've got some fantastic rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!